and it works for you. Tanya Quarequio, NMLS 88836, Celebrity Mortgage, NMLS 206978, where everyone is treated like a star. Talk here. Talk there. Talk 1470 AM and 95.3 FM, the Health and Wealth Radio Network. WNN Talk 1470 is WWNN Pompano Beach and 95.3 FM W237BD Boca Raton. The Health and Wealth Radio Network. AM 1470 WNN. With more of what you need to know, get all the latest on health with caller health questions and comments, breaking health news, the health alternative, outrage, and mystery of the week, Dr. Bob Martin Show, Sundays at 10 a.m. Want to lower your rate and payments, get rid of mortgage insurance, or get cash out? Find out about your best refinance options by tuning into the Get Mortgage Fit Radio Show with Alex Michaels and Carrie Kasem, Thursday afternoons from 1 to 2, where you'll learn everything you need to know about mortgage loans, today's rates, FHA, VA, and more. Call the Get Mortgage Fit Show Thursday afternoons from 1 to 2 on WNN at 800-827-RATE. 800-827-RATE or visit them online at newamericanfunding.com and MLS 6606. If you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, tune in to the Dr. Bob Martin Show. From erectile dysfunction to eczema, heartburn to headaches, carpal tunnel to how to lower cholesterol drug-free. Sunday mornings at 10 on Talk 1470 WNN. If you suffer from excruciating back pain, do not have surgery. Call Dr. Fernando Ranella, MD, and ask him about the new ozone therapy and how it can eliminate your back pain once and for all. End your suffering today. Call Dr. Fernando Ranella, the Center for Back Pain Management, 561-819-6325. That's 561-819-6325 or injectpainaway.com. I'm Ken Griffey Sr. I'm Ken Griffey Jr. And we're proud to be men who speak up about advanced prostate cancer. Not too long ago, we were a father and son team hitting back-to-back Major League home runs. Nothing could stop us until prostate cancer stopped me in my tracks. One in seven men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer. Lucky for us, Dad caught his early. It was difficult to speak up because of what was happening to me. One in 20 men will have advanced disease when first diagnosed. Unfortunately, too many men live in a silent era because below the belt issues can be tough to talk about. If you are living with prostate cancer and have symptoms like aches, fatigue, difficulty walking, sleeping, unexplained pain, or difficulty doing normal activities, don't stay silent. The most important thing is the support of your family. If you or your loved one has prostate cancer, speak up. Visit menwhospeakup.com to learn more. This was a public service announcement from Zero, the end of prostate cancer, and Bear. Are you thinking about getting your GED diploma? Well, here at the GED Pep Talk Center, we've got a number of pep talks that can motivate you. Sometimes things don't always turn out the way you want them to. You know that feeling? People look at you and don't believe in you. You want some gentle encouragement. Then you're on your way to your GED diploma and a better life. But I know they're probably just a little bit nervous. You can find it in yourself to take that first step. You can improve your future. You can do this. I know you can. You need to start pushing yourself. Now get your game face on and take the first step towards a better life. Hurry up. Don't make me repeat myself. Whatever level of motivation you need to get your GED diploma, we've got a pep talk that's right for you. Call 1-877-38-YOUR-GED or visit yourged.org for your pep talk and find free GED classes in your area. GED is a registered trademark of the American Council on Education. Brought to you by Dollar General Literacy Foundation and the Ad Council. The opinions expressed in the following sponsored program are strictly those of the host, guests, and callers, and not necessarily those of the station, its staff, management, or sponsors. Welcome to the Golf and Travel Show, the place to fine-tune your swing, dress for the course, club, or cruise, and get tips on the best places to play and stay at the right price. Vacation or staycation, host Dan Shube, along with his expert co-hosts and guests, will tell you where to go to play golf and vacation, that is. Now, here's Dan. Welcome to the Golf and Travel Show. I'm your host, Dan Shub, and tonight, like we always do, we're going to talk a bit of golf. We're going to talk some travel. We may talk a little bit more golf than usual because this is... Uh, 
the peak of my golf season. At least we've got the PGA Merchandise Show coming up next week, so we'll talk a little bit about that. And, of course, the tours just uh, started up again. Uh, not all of them. The LPGA, I think, is another week or so away. Uh, but a lot of golf to talk about. Um, a little bit later in the show, I'm expecting a couple of guests here in the studio. Uh, my guess is they're in a little bit of traffic, so hopefully they'll make it here. But we are expecting to be talking with Jeff Haynes and uh, Mike O'Neill. Um, as a matter of fact, I think they're here just about now. And uh, they are with a company called Raw Power Pro Mobile Power Charging. And... Um, they, uh, I, I believe Cindy Metzler from the company may be here as well, and uh, they have a really cool product, which is a retrofitted um, solar panel that goes on your golf cart, which is something that I've been kind of thinking that the golf world should have developed many, many years ago. So um, we will uh, be chatting with them in just a little bit, and uh, of course, uh, we've got plenty else to talk about, like I said, with the PGA show Uh, just around the corner. Hopefully I'll be seeing them up there as well. And I got to tell you, the amount of information that I'm getting about all the latest and greatest and newest products, the innovations from uh, inventors who perhaps are inventing their first product that they've ever exhibited with, as well as, of course, the big boys like your TaylorMades and Callaway and uh, uh, the new clubs and the new balls that are just going to go further and straighter than ever before. So, I mean, I just can't believe it. We're all going to be single uh, digit handicappers now, so I'm, I'm very excited about that. Um, as I had mentioned, uh, there's plenty of golf that's out there this weekend. We've got the Career Builder Challenge on the PGA Tour in uh, La Quinta in the Palm Springs area, so PGA is moving back from Hawaii and over to the West Coast, which is very cool. Uh, and when they leave, of course, the Champions Tour, they go down to Hawaii, and they've got the Mitsubishi Electric Championship, and um, that should be nice to watch, of course, our local Boker Resident um, Bernhard Langer, he is the defending champion there, so um, we'll be rooting for him. Um, also in the news, uh, I've mentioned it before, I've been a member of the Golf Writers Association of America for uh, more than 20 years, I suppose. Um, I'm not uh, honored to be a voting member because I do this in my spare time. I don't do this uh, as a full-time career. I do other things, but... Um, I do obviously uh, hang with some of the people from the association, and I keep up to date on on what they're doing. And, of course, every year there are awards that they give out, and they kind of release them a little bit at a time. I'm not quite sure why, but um, there were a couple of awards that were uh, uh, announced this week. So um, I want to kind of mention a little bit to you folks because you may not get to hear this kind of stuff. But um, the uh, Richardson Award, uh, which... um, was given to uh, Billy Payne, and you may recognize the name Billy Payne. Uh, around April, you you know heard the name mentioned quite a bit because he was the chairman of Augusta National, and uh, he was given this award because he, um, uh, my guests are here, excuse me, but um, he, he just did amazing things to expand the game of golf as well as to enhance the uh, the Masters. Um, just did a great job, and of course, uh, not only he has. Um, won this award, but Clifford Roberts, uh, one of the founders, of course, along with Bobby Jones, uh, they both have won the award. So he was extremely honored to be placed in that kind of company for the work that he's done. And um, they've done a lot. Let's face it, the Masters is an institution here, so he's a very worthwhile uh, guy to win this award. So um, also an award was uh, given to um, somebody that's, you know, quite um, had had quite a year, I guess, uh, and that would be uh, Stacy Lewis, and she's going to get an award as well. And um, she's being honored for, uh, you know, part- partially the the her um, uh, well, what she's overcome in life, as well as what she's given back. Uh, at the age of eleven, Stacy Lewis was diagnosed with scoliosis. She wore a, a back brace for seven years, which is pretty remarkable. And uh, the only time she was able to take it off is when she played golf, actually. Um, she had back surgery, had a rod and five screws implanted, if you can imagine that. Um, uh, my wife had back surgery, and she was told she could never play golf. She could never do anything strenuous like that, or her discs would rupture again. Um, so to imagine having that kind of back surgery and then going on to have the kind of golf career that she's had, um, she won the uh, 2007 NCAA Individual Championship. She's won 12 LPGA events, including two majors. And um, recently, uh, I probably spoke about it when it happened, but after the flooding in Houston, um, she was playing in an event um, right after that week, after Hurricane Harvey hit. Um, and she announced right before the event that whatever proceeds that she would get from the event, that she would donate um, to the people of Houston who are in need. She went on to win the event, which was just an incredible thing. So congratulations uh, as well to her. 
And the um, the last award that was uh, bestowed this week went to Ernie Els. And, uh, you know, obviously he's had a, a World Golf Hall of Fame career. He was inducted in 2011. Um, he was honored with another award back in 2010 as well um, for his work uh, with the L Center of Excellence, which is for children with autism. And, um, you know, he, he's, uh, he's, he basically was honored for his relationship with the media and the fact that he's so approachable. And uh, all of these awards are going to be given out at the uh, annual dinner, which takes place uh, during the Masters week. I don't typically get a chance to go. I wish I could, but... Um, you know, what can I tell you? So um, in any event, uh, my guest this year, and now, first of all, make sure you yeah, put, put a set of headphones on and uh, we can we may as well uh, get you on here. So um, why don't you introduce yourself and your company? I, I spoke briefly about it before, but why don't you say a few words as well? Sure. Thanks for having me, Dan. So uh, my name is Mike O'Neill and uh, I'm with Raw Power Pro. Yeah. Okay. I wanted to. I wanted to make sure it wasn't R A Power Pro. So that's why I wanted you to say it. I was. I was saying Raw Power Pro, and I was afraid I was saying it wrong. So we know each other from way back when. Obviously, you're you're a guy who enjoys golf. We we had an opportunity to see each other at a tournament not too long ago, and um, I, I'm just happy. First of all, I'm happy. Well, it's hard for me to see you here. We have all these microphones in front of us. Let me move over here so I can see you. But. Um, First of all, are you going to be going to the PGA show? I was talking briefly about it while you were trying to get up here. Yes, are, yeah, are, we'll, your... we'll be up at the PGA show uh, next Friday. Uh, and, and, and as you say that, music comes out. <laughs> it's a whole re- now. I, I'm sure that you've never exhibited at the PGA show before. Have not. No. Have you ever attended the PGA I show have not. before? This will be the first time. Okay, so you are in for a treat. Um, obviously, you like to play golf. It's not just that you work for a company that's in the golf industry, and we'll get into that in a few minutes, but. I always like to say that this will be probably my 25th year, consecutive year going. And I like to say that it's it's kind of like a kid in a candy shop if you are into golf. Now, hopefully, if you're going to be exhibiting in a booth I, for my day job, I'm an exhibitor and I, I hardly get out. But hopefully, you'll have some coverage so you get an opportunity to go around and walk the show and see some of the other stuff that's there. It's just going to blow you away. You're not going to believe what you see. Absolutely. I can't wait. I'm a, I'm a total golf nerd. So to be able to walk around and see all the new equipment and even test some of the clubs, I know I've seen it um, on TV. And I know that, you know, they have simulators and you can hit all that kind of stuff. So definitely the kid in the candy store. So I'll be out and about. Are, are you going to make it to um, Demo Day on Tuesday? Uh, I am not. No, we'll just be yeah. there for Friday. Oh, only on Friday? Yeah. Okay. So so you're you're attending or exhibiting? Uh, we're attending. Oh, so yeah. you're just attending. Yeah, so you we just have a couple of meetings set up with, you know, different people in the golf industry, but okay. we won't be, you know, we don't have a booth or anything like okay, that. Okay, so, but you will have time to walk around and check things For out? Sure, yes. Okay, yeah. And, and I mean, keep in mind, I mean, you'll miss Demo Day, which is, um, I don't know if you've ever been to Orange County National. Have you ever been there? I have not, no. Okay, so on Tuesday, Orange County National, it is um, a driving range. And if you've never heard about it, the driving range is circular. Oh, right. I've seen it on TV. It is huge. And they have about 300 different companies that exhibit there, and people are hitting balls at each other. I mean, you can't, unless there's a huge wind, you can't reach the other side. But, of course, they do get some of the long drive champions there. A lot of the pros are there uh, doing demonstrations. A lot of the famous uh, swing instructors are there. Um, It's just crazy out there. And uh, But when you go to the, um, uh, the convention center, they do have at one end basically an indoor driving range as well. Which, you know, many years ago, they had enough space and they decided to do that. So for the folks that don't make it to Demo Day, still, if you want to hit some clubs, you can right there indoors. So excellent, it's, excellent. It, it's, it's the coolest thing you're ever going to see. Once you go and once, once, it's just like the first time you've ever played golf, the first time you ever go to the merchandise show, you get bitten, you will be going back. <laughs> My guess is is that um, you'll probably end up exhibiting because I'm sure that your product is going to take off and, and you're going to want to be an exhibitor once you you know get a feel for what's going on. But uh, you'll probably be like me, and for, for at least the next 25 years, you'll be going every single year, and it becomes a tradition. And you know you, you end up making friends up there, and you see the same people year after year, and everybody kind of has a good time together. And um, yeah, it's um, it's it's amazing. And I mean, how my wife has allowed me to do this for 25 years, I don't know. <laughs> People, uh, I was just talking to somebody in the other studio. He says, you live a charmed life. You know, <laughs> you get to do this kind of stuff and call it work. Right. I've right. been telling everybody I'm working hard this you know, next week. And um, I don't think too many of them actually believe me. 
Um, but uh, I try and keep the, the charade going as, as long as I possibly can. So um, in any event, so in, in just a couple of minutes, we'll talk more about your sure. product. But I, I do have to say that when I moved to Florida uh, about 25 years ago, um, the first thing I questioned was why they're not harnessing the sun and, you know, using solar um, or even why they're not using electric carts, because a lot of places had gas carts and right. they're very noisy, a little bit smelly. Um, during these 25 years, there were times where the price of gas was very, very high. You know, obviously it goes up and down. And I'm thinking to myself, here in Florida, the electric is fairly cheap. They should at least have electric. And how often do we play when there's no sun out? Right. Almost never. So why? And, and of course, I, I knew that the problem was is the technology to get the price down and make it small and everything else. But it just frustrated me to no end that our country and the politics that make it up, and I try not to get into either side of politics because that's dangerous, but that people didn't have the um, foresightedness to know that investing in clean energy was a smart thing and that they made us wait Right. All of these years <laughs> until we actually can afford this kind of stuff and where, um, you know, people like uh, Tesla can send, you know, their technology to Puerto Rico. And I, I mean, things that are starting to happen now, we, we were just and, and I'm sure, again, it was politics and lobbyists from the oil industry and all sorts of things that should never have happened that happened. But I'm just so grateful that we're living in a time where it's finally happening. So yeah. with that, what we're going to do is we're going to take a quick break and then we'll talk a little bit more about your product because certainly the people of Florida are going to want to hear about it. So stay tuned and we'll be back with more of the Golf and Travel Show. And we are back. And if your business needs industrial workers or if you're looking for work, you got to call Labor Finders. Labor Finders places for temporary or temporary to hire opportunities for skilled, semi-skilled or general labor positions such as plumbers, electricians, concrete workers, forklift operators, hospitality, office clerical and much, much more. Labor Finders has almost 200 offices nationwide. Near here in Boca Raton, they have offices in Homestead, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, West Palm Beach and in Jupiter. So if you need legal insured workers or if you're looking for work, call Labor Finders toll free at 800-864-7749. That's 800-864-7749 or visit laborfinders.com. back and uh as i mentioned a few minutes ago we live in beautiful sunny florida um why wouldn't we want to harness the power of the sun um it's it's just ludicrous to me that we don't so to find out a little bit more about why or how we can going forward and at least get those uh gas guzzling golf carts off the gas and onto the solar power i invited mike o'neill to come on in and uh Talk to us a little bit about his product, which I guess is going to kind of revolutionize uh, the golf industry starting as soon as next week when he starts talking to folks up there at the show. So thank you, Mike, for coming in. Thanks and, for having um, me. So let's let's start at the very beginning. Um, when did this company start and and start to get into this technology? And and when did I mean I know you recently joined up with them, so I'm assuming that they were in business a little bit before. And how, how did it all? How did it start for you? So the the company's been around since about 2008 2009. Mm-hmm. Um, and now they're actually an, an OEM supplier for Club Car and for Polaris. Um, so they kind of, you know, developed the technology, built it up, and now they, you know, supply directly to Club Car, which is really the biggest golf cart, you know, supplier there is. Mm -hmm. And all it really is is it's a it's a simple solar solution for electric carts. And like you were saying there, you know, it seems like a no-brainer not to harness the power of the sun, you know, in places like Florida, 
or California, you know, or Texas or even, you know, the Caribbean. And I think what it was before is just the technology hadn't quite caught up to it. Right. And it was too expensive. Um, you know, you had these big, heavy glass panels that, you know, you see on some houses sometimes. And mm-hmm. the, the technology really just hadn't caught up to make it cost efficient, you know, so you're getting a return on investment. And you don't want to put a big, heavy panel on a golf cart anyway because you're going to really destroy this battery. But if you have a nice, thin one, like I brought one in here. Well, I would think just the, the weight it's... even, you know, on a rainy day when the course is a little bit soft, if it weighs a little Absolutely. bit more, you're going to kind of sink in. So I, I can see where that, that would be a problem. Okay, so I'm taking a quick look at this. So why don't we... Since um, our listeners don't have the ability to see, why don't we try and describe exactly like um, the size of it and the thickness and the weight of it and, and that kind of stuff. So, so what we've done, um, so we use complete non-glass panels. So it's not to get too technical, but it's a it's a non-glass. They call it a Monte Crystalline, and then we laminate it in between, you know, plastic, and it's essentially, you know, the size of a poster board, like you do a science project on at school. Mm-hmm. And, you know, very thin, couple millimeters thick. It weighs five or six pounds. And we Velcro that right onto the top of the golf cart. And then we wire it directly into the battery set. Most people, their beer weighs more than that. Yeah. <laughs> and definitely your bag and then your buddy that you're with. So it's, it's, it's really a, big deal. a lightweight solution um, right into the cart. It goes right into the battery set. And, you know, it, it saves on, you know, it lengthens the life of the batteries. It extends the life of the cart. Um you know, and it's really, it's charging anytime it's outside. So the whole length of your round. And, you know, if you're doing a whole fleet like a golf course, you know, that really adds up, you know, additional miles each day and then over the cost of a year. So when you sell them through your OEM people, is it actually just, I mean, built right into the cart? And then obviously you also retrofit other people who have a cart that doesn't have it. I mean, why don't you explain a little bit about that? So it's an, e- it's an easy add on. Um, we do OEM right to Polaris and Club Car. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's, it's a, you know, easy thing. You can go right on our site at robpowerpro.com, uh, rapowerpro.com and you can order it right from there. And it's an, it's an easy thing you can do yourself. I mean, put it right on the cart. It, we use Velcro right to the roof and then the wires go right into the battery. You really, you really just connect in the two colors, the <laughs> red know, and the black, and you, there's nothing to you it. You talk you, about this incredible technology, and then you tell, and you, you just Velcro it right to the roof. And it's that's like, it. Yeah, that's, that sounds almost too simple. Now, um, is it so? Is this made in uh, the U.S.? Is it made in China? I mean, I know there's a lot of talk about this international competition for where solar and the new technologies are coming from, so just curious. Yeah, so there's a lot of um, you know panels out there. There's a lot of cheap technology that, you know, comes from China and other places where they can make it really cheap. Mm-hmm. Um, our factory is right here in the U.S. Very cool. Can I ask where? Um, up in North Carolina. Okay. Very, very cool. Um, so, and, and how long has um, this actually been on the market now, at least in its present state? So we really, we just launched our new website um, in January, mm-hmm. and that's been the first time that, you know, consumers can go direct to our website and order it. Before then, it's really just been an option that Club Car or Polaris could really offer to the customers. So really just launching it out on the direct consumer um, basis right now, you know, starting in January. So if this is on top of my golf cart and I'm out there in the Florida sun and I play 18 holes, when I'm finished, say I want to play another 18 holes and now there's no more sun. I mean, do I have enough of a charge to play a whole nother round or is it just kind of keeping me going while I'm out there? Yeah, absolutely. So we have um, someone you may have heard of. We put a, a, a solar panel on Michael Jordan's golf cart up in Jupiter. And so his problem was he said, well, I like to play 36 holes every single day. And what my, a surprise. <laughs> and my golf cart keeps dying, so I can't get 36 holes in. He can't. He doesn't have two golf carts? Right, right. He, <laughs> I guess he didn't have enough room in his garage. Okay. So we put a, a panel on him, and he's been using that, his cart, for, you know, a few years now. And he gets, he does 36 holes in the same cart and, you know, lasts all day. Yeah, I, I mean, there's always a story with Michael some about something. And usually golf is involved. Sometimes gambling is involved. But um, at, at least it's nice to hear that it's a green technology story. That's that's a better story, I think, for him. Right, right. He's, I mean, that that whole, I mean, for a while there, that neighborhood, he'd bring in all his friends and they <laughs> take over the place. And I, I think the neighbors were none too thrilled. But I suppose um, when you're Michael Jordan, you could do just about anything you want and get right. away with it. So, right. but I mean, what a great spokesperson for you guys, huh? Yeah, absolutely. So. Um, he uses it. Um, Ernie Els is also another. You had talked about him earlier. Mm-hmm. Um, Ernie's been, you know, he kind of shared our vision from the beginning, and, and we've been working with him a little bit. Um, we were actually up at the Ernie Els Center for Excellence a few weeks ago, 
and we did a little special and we had some of the kids out there and they actually helped us with the install on the cart and we put solar on a couple of the carts they use there um and the way they use them i mean they're using them for maintenance so they're driving around the campus you mm-hmm. know not as much as a full golf round they're hardly going to ever have to plug these things in again i mean they sit outside all day and they charge and really what it does is you know if you look at a the battery on a golf cart, if you look at it like a glass of water, as you're using it, it's draining down. Mm-hmm. And the further you get it to zero, that's, you know, decreasing the longevity of this battery. So what our panels do is they'll, you know, keep it from discharging all the way down. And so, you know, every battery only has X amount of charges in it from sure. the beginning. So the more you get out of it, you know, the longer it lasts. These batteries aren't cheap. I mean, the whole battery set goes for, you know, close to $1,000 when you got to replace these. Now, what you just said was interesting because it sounds a little bit different compared to what they tell you about, like, your cell phone. You know, they always told you that with a cell phone, you want to let it, char- you know, the whole charge get used. And if you keep recharging it, it has some sort of a memory or something, and then right. that's a bad thing. But with golf carts, it's it's the opposite, right? It's I think di- I did it's read a different, this on your website. So. Yes, it's a different kind of battery. Um, so it's a lead-acid battery, and, and right, and those, you don't want to charge them all the way down. The further down they go, it's, you know, harder to charge them back up. I think the technology with new lithium batteries that are probably in your phone or, you know, and other things are going to lithium. I think it's different and maybe it makes sense to charge the light back. But the good thing about our product is um, it works with lithium batteries as well. So mm-hmm. when that technology comes out and, you know, it becomes a little more cheaper, a little a little more prevalent, mm-hmm. um, you know, our product works with lithium or lead acid batteries. It really doesn't matter. So as the technology starts to change, obviously, if the battery technology changes, you're right there with it. But what about where's the future for your product? Obviously, it's come a long way, I suppose, especially in the last maybe several years or so. Where is where is it going next? I mean, what what's going to is it just going to keep getting smaller and thinner and lighter or cheaper? Or is there some new types of things that are in the horizon that I have no clue about? So I don't even know how to ask you. As far as our golf cart technology, um, I mean, you can see it here. It's it's about as light and as thin as you're really going to get. I mean, mm-hmm. it's about a poster board, maybe a couple of them stacked on top of each other. Yeah, but that's what we used to say. Remember with, with yes, cell phones. Right, exactly. Remember when a cell phone came in a suitcase. Oh, it can't get too much smaller, you know. Now right. it's on a watch. Right, exactly. <laughs> I, I mean. So our we're actually developing a couple new technologies that outside of the golf space, um, they actually were initially came up with, you know, for the military. And really, it's a foldable panel, so you can, you know, you can you can have this big solar panel that's maybe a six foot by six foot section, sold it up, you know, fold it up real small, put it in your pack or wherever, and you can, you know, use it to charge batteries or radios or, you know, whatever you need. Well, I was I was going to ask you that as well. Now there are other products on the market for people, and they they do sell them to the golf industry for people to charge their phone and to charge their radio and to do other things. These little solar type things. Do you see you getting into other kinds of solar stuff besides just golf carts? Absolutely, yeah. So really, I see it as we're a, we're a you know we can cr- create some kind of a solution for whatever problem whatever power problem you have. Mm-hmm. Um, it doesn't have to be golf carts, you know, um, whether it's it's radios or it's um, any events like maybe a sporting event where you might not be able to run electricity out to that, you know, that scoreboard or that, you know, booth or whatever party. it needs. Right, exactly. <laughs> um, any mobile power solutions, we're able to kind of, you know, design something specific, you know, right for that problem. And really, it's just a matter of how much power do you need and how much room do you have to put up, you know, panels and we can figure it out. Yeah, it, like I say, when I just mentioned about the phone, you know, talking on your phone, on your watch, I mean, when I was a kid, you know, that was like uh, make-believe, you know, with Dick Tracy and things like that. And, it, you know, it was the future, but way into the future and to, to live to see this. And, and I think, you know, I've listened to some experts uh, give some talks about things about technology and how quickly things are changing, the speed of, of which things are changing these days versus years ago, you know, for for brand new technologies maybe it used to take 10 or 20 years and now it takes you know two or four years or something and there may come a time where like every couple of weeks things are just going to be changed you know i mean this the speed of change is just incredible it is it is yeah and and i think the next big one is probably going to be battery you know different developments in technology for batteries is probably the next the next jump um it still seems kind of crazy to me that these electric golf carts and different vehicles are run on these big heavy 
um, lead acid batteries is essentially what you put in your car. Right. But imagine, I think it, you know, it takes five or six of them to run a golf cart. So you yeah. have this and, huge and where do they system. go when they're not used anymore? Exactly. I mean, right. they, they, it can't be a good thing. Right. I mean, if they're doing this, I mean, I think I read not long ago that Volvo in about four years will have nothing but electric cars. Wow. You know, so I, I mean, the technology is definitely growing at a tremendous rate. So, all right, well, before we wrap up the segment, I want to make sure that, first of all, are you going to stick around for the rest of the show or do you have to leave? Because you're invited to stay if you